I'm Aaron and I play uh, keys and synth. I'm Luke and I play uh, bass and do the samples. I'm Ben, I play drums. I'm Andy, I play guitar. Um, I, I was only in the band sort of to help out at the start, just, and then um, I went away overseas for a couple of years and they, they kept going with another bass player. And I came back and that's when we sort of got a bit more serious and, and yeah. recorded some stuff. Earlier on we were influenced by a lot of bands and was, everything was kind of separate now we have a way of merging things together. Yeah, some of our favourite music is like the real big epic stuff and we're like um, particularly influenced by like soundtracks from movies. I think it's probably a, the biggest influence on what we do really. And if we've seen if we've seen a movie that's got an awesome soundtrack, then that rip it straight off. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 sort of, that sort of feel can then ca can come through after that. Like I know, um, what was it, the assassination of Jesse James? That Nick Cave and Warren Ellis um, yeah, soundtrack was amazing. amazing, and that was like a huge influence on us. But that sort of feeling, like we can refer back to that, and it's it's a big influence on where we go when we're starting to jam and um, and write new songs as well. The, the jazz thing sort of came about mostly because of Aaron's piano playing, like. At first it probably came in because he was being a bit of a wank from the piano when he was younger and we'd never really listened to any jazz. But like then we sort of thought, oh, well, it's not as shit as we thought. And, um, <laughs> and we started listening to it a bit. Not all and now that. we're like, like quite into it. But we weren't at first. It, it was because like yeah. of Aaron's piano playing that, that it started. Yeah, but that's the jazz aspect. And you know, these days you're into a lot of more post-metal than the rest of us kind of thing. And we kind of all have our different influences, but find a way of bring them together. I don't know, I think it's one of the strengths of our band is that we have a way of melding several genres together without it being too forced, I guess. Um, yeah. it's, it's always it's always two things. We've got we've got the improvisational side where we'll just sit back and we'll have jams and record that. And then something like on our early EP, Tiny Fragments Part 1, where we it's really clearly, you know, chop and change. And we, we had a series of concepts and we always try and know everything on our walls and write it down and then we, you know, be trying to directly apply these concepts and we'll start with just a couple of beats and we'll just work and work and work and add on until you get, you know, a song of, you know, a decent structure. We, we want to, you know, have it so it's, it's really tight and efficient, but we want to make sure that, you know, we, we feel that we're, you know, fairly good when we're improvising as like taking risks. So we have sections where we know that, you know, this can go for as long or short as we want it and then there'll be a code or we'll just look at each other and, and change out of that. And also, like, in terms of live performance, we we don't want to, you know, use any backing tracks or anything like that live or any click tracks with headphones kind of thing. We wanted to keep it all live so we have the sampler and we have loop controlling, you know, individual pieces separately all the time and we wanted to keep everything so we're in complete control in case you want to go off the chart. It kind of means that the songs are never really played the same way twice, in a way. Some of them are, but some of them we prefer that every, every time you play it it's a little bit different. There's a bit of like an, an online community to lose to use the term loosely who are all into the same sort of music and um, like it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty easy with, with MySpace and all that and people are yeah. sort of it feels so like we've been working towards the album for like two or three years but you know so much stuff gets cold over that period of time and we're lucky because we've found Ben now where we thought that was going to be a compromise where we'd have someone who was really obvious and, and forward and we'd have to really write things out and change our style but yeah, we, we thought it was going to be completely. We've already written, it. like you know, started on like a couple of songs that we you know hoped to put forth towards the album that fit perfectly, and um, yeah, so we can't wait to get going. We've only just be a few months to already start recording and we'll get into it.